So there's a certain NBA player that a lot of people, especially in the 2K community, don't really like in the game. And that's because they just don't put up the stats that they really should be. And in 2K, they're a way worse player than they are in real life. Um, and as you can tell by the thumbnail and title of this video, that player is Robert Covington. And I love getting Roko because I can change him to a small forward, trade him away, and all of a sudden he's an 85 overall and he's got a lot more trade value. But he just doesn't put up the stats, so he rarely stays on my team, and if he does, he comes off the bench. But today I got a challenge, and it's from Blessed AJ. And Blessed AJ says, he's asking for the Roko challenge. He says, fantasy draft your team and draft Robert Covington with your first round pick, and then trade everyone and enjoy the tough road. Thanks for the good content. Well, thank you, AJ, for this tra or for this rebuild idea. I think this one's going to be fun. Uh, so we're going to fantasy draft a team, and we're going to... I'm going to add in, too, that Robert Covington has to start in every lineup that I have. Um, but that should be a given anyways. But if you're new, um, and you haven't subscribed, what's up? I'm TKE. Um, yeah, I've been doing this for a little while now. Uh, I have the best supporters in the entire YouTube. There's only, like, 1,200 of you, but that's way more than I thought I'd have at this point. And we're keep growing, so if you guys want to hop on the ride, do it right now. Hit that red subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications so you never miss a video. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, Fantasy Draft, what do we always do? We randomly select a team, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go for a little while here, and then we're going to stop in 3, 2, 1. We got the Golden State Warriors. I don't get the Warriors off, and we're going to roll with it. And let's see where we're picking Roko. I want it towards the end. It is kind of towards the end. So let's go get Robert Covington. And let's go by... I guess overall we can go by because he's like an 80-ish overall player. Where is Robert Covington? Um. All right, Robert Covington, our first pick. We're going to simulate the rest of the draft. And then we're going to trade away every single player except for Robert Covington. So this is the roster we got, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. We ended up with Zach Levine, Wendell Carter Jr., Rocco, uh, Lonzo Ball, Willie Colley Stein. We have some great... This is actually a super solid team. I'm really surprised at how good this team is. Um, but obviously, everybody has to get traded. Um, today, I'm not randomly trading away these people. I don't know if that's how AJ wanted it, but uh, I'm going to be picking the trades for this one. So... We just got to start out. Zach Levine, we're going to trade you away. I'll throw in these two second round picks, and we'll see um, which offer I like the most. Michael Porter Jr. would be cool just to save that money. We'd have to trade away Harrison Barnes, but um, I think that would be a really good option. So I think that's the one we're probably going to do. Um, even if Michael Porter Jr. comes off the bench or something, I don't know. We're going to do this. We're going to trade away um, Harrison Barnes then. Just try and free up that $24 million, I guess. Um, what could we do to free up this money? I mean, this wouldn't be bad either, I guess. It doesn't free up any money, but we could always trade Kyle Lowry in the offseason. So let's do that. Then uh, Wendell Carter Jr. has to be traded. So we'll trade him with Terry Rozier because he makes a lot of money. And let's see. We have... We basically need like every position. So a point guard would be pretty cool. We don't have one. Uh, Hassan Whiteside would be decent and then that money would be freed up in the off season. Kemba Walker is also there. Clint Capella, John Wall, Jared Allen, and Steven Adams, and Montrez Harrell, and then Kelly Oubre. So this one's not bad, but I don't need another small forward for sure. Don't need another small forward. So I think we're gonna do this one for CJ and Davis Bertans because I don't get CJ very often. All right, so these guys are all new additions. Uh, Lonzo Ball has to be traded. So does Willie Colley Stein. So we'll trade Lonzo with this second. Mitchell Robinson, that's probably about the best trade we're going to get because we do need a center anyways. Who did I just trade for, though? I traded for... I don't remember who I traded for, but it wasn't a center. I'm like 95% sure. Or we could do this trade. I think we're going to do this one and then um, flip Steven Adams. Yeah, I think we're going to do that because then if we can get Steven Adams, um, that'll be pretty nice. So we can trade away Steven Adams, run Jared, Al Jared Allen. Robert Covington will probably stick at 
power forward unless I run Michael Porter Jr. in the G League. So Zach Collins and Svi Mikhail Luke both have to be traded as well. Um, Demarcus Cousins and a pick swap. I don't really want to pick swap at all. Bobby Portis. We'll do that. Top three protected pick. And then who else has to be traded? Basically, now it's just like Zizic, Grant, Sumner, and Basley. So we'll throw two of them at a time and get them out of here. So Cavs and John Conkar, okay. And then also Basley and Sumner. And we'll do this one here. Okay, now let's set the rotation. Um, obviously, Robert Covington, he could run there. But I think what I want to do is sign some free agents here first off. So I can send Michael Porter Jr. to the G League. All right. So the roster, we got Michael Porter Jr. going down to the... Oh, we need to get even more free agents. Okay, so Kyle Korver and Vincent Poirier, right? Yeah, sure. All right. So now can we send anybody to the G League? Why am I on the 76ers roster? Okay, Warriors. All right. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., He'll go down there, and honestly, I'm going to send uh, Jared Allen down there too, I think. Yeah, all right. So let's go set the rotation now. Um, Robert Covington, he's going to run small forward for us this year because then we can have Davis Bertan start. And then off the bench, we got Bobby Portis. Um, we need to trade like a couple of these guys and get some not big men. You know what I'm saying? So, let's trade away. I want to keep Clax, and we can trade away Noah. We can trade away, yeah, Joakim Noah and Mike Scott and try and bring in a point guard and a small forward off the bench. So, actually, you know what? Let's just run it. Let's just run it because this isn't the season we're trying to win with anyways. Um, so let's just simulate this season and then we'll move on from there. So I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. All right. So we ended up this season. This is getting me really excited for what a Robert Covington led team can get me. Maybe I, maybe we've all been underestimating Covington because we got 46 wins and that's with a lot of our players just not being that good outside of a couple. So Luca does win MVP. Here are the rest of the awards. You guys want to take a peek at them? I don't know. seems like the Bucks always end up with someone good. They... A lot of times they end up getting, you know, Luca or um, Giannis or someone like that. But here are the All-NBA Awards. What team are we? The Warriors. We don't have anyone, which is fine. So we are the three seed over here in the Western Conference. But let's check out the stats. Rocco. Okay, Rocco is definitely not leading this team. But uh, 10 points, 5 rebounds. And he's just shooting so poorly. Actually, not that bad from three, but so bad from the field um cj and kyle lowry that's kind of a dynamic backcourt that i never really thought of pairing together before but um let's simulate this round up against the suns uh we're up 3-1 4-1 okay let me actually go here quick all right now we got michael porter jr and jared allen back from the g league so that's cool too so we won 4-1 let's go up against portland and they beat us in seven so let's simulate the rest of the playoffs I think we could possibly win the championship in 2021. I really do. Uh, the Nets won the championship, it looks like. Let's go to the draft lottery and let's see where our pick is. I'm guessing we're just getting our pick. I don't remember trading for another one. Nope. Where is our pick, though? 21. Not the end of the world. Staff signing. We need a better assistant GM, or we need an assistant GM in general. So, Michael Williams, come take 800K to come and hang out with me here. Ron Adams, sure. Trainer, we're going to fire our trainer. We're going to bring in Sean Lee. All right, we got those two. So let's go to the draft and let's see who we can pick at 21 overall. Hopefully somebody falls down to us and then we can just select them there. Like Poku's here. We'll take Poku and then we'll get out of the draft. So Poku was a 74, not bad. Rookie signing. Um, obviously we're going to bring him in team player options. We're going to decline the team option on Bobby Portis and qualifying offers. Vincent Poirier can get his 
Um, we're gonna trade away like Kyle Lowry and Steven Adams right now. So Adams and a first and a second. What can we get? Mitchell Robinson. That would be decent. Um Kristaps would be really nice. We'd have to throw in another first round pick, but Kristaps would be a very nice player to bring in. Jamal Murray would also be decent. Clint Capella. All right, what's Kristaps' contract situation? That's important. All right, we can do that. I think we can make that work. And then Kyle Lowry and this second and this first. What can we bring in for Lowry? Hopefully a better point guard. Derrick Rose was there. DeJounte Murray is also a good option. D'Angelo Russell is a good option. I think we're going to go with D'Lo here. Bringing Edmund Sumner back on the team. I hope you guys don't care about that. Edmund Sumner is not going to get any minutes. I'm not going to spend the time just like trading him away for no reason. Um, yeah, that's my two cents. So then CJ McCollum also. I would love to see what we could get for CJ. We could probably use like a power forward or something. But there's options of what we could get for CJ here. Victor Oladipo. I don't bring him in very often. We'd also bring in Alfred Payton who would be a decent backup. So bonus. I think we'll go with Victor Oladipo and, and Alfred Payton here. And then we're pretty much dried up on picks. But now we're going to change... I think we're going to change Porzingis to a power forward. And what do we have out here in free agency? Davis Bertans. He doesn't want to sign with us. Let's go search him up. I've heard people say this. If you just go player finder them and you search them up, then they will um, actually negotiate with you. So Davis Bertans, we'll sign him. We'll throw him like 72. And then he does come to the team, so that's cool. I can renounce the rights on these guys. I don't really care about them much. All right, cool. So we're good there. Let's see if we can bring in Andre Roberson. All right, we got Roberson and then Damari Carroll. All right. I think that's honestly probably fine. So player progression. Let's see how the team looks. Uh, we're going to have to do some shuffling around. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. is probably going to have to come off the bench for Rocco. But I think this team is really good. I mean, look how all these 86s. We got four of them and then a 90. And then even some good players coming off the bench too. So I'll send some people to training camps. And then I'll catch you guys at the beginning of the second season of this rebuild. All right, so this is the rotation we got for now. Michael Porter Jr. obviously is going to go to the bench for Rocco, who's going to play 30 minutes, and D'Lo can get one more. So honestly, the starting lineup's perfect for me. We got a good amount of defense with Victor, Robert Covington, Porzingis, and Allen. Then D'Lo can just do his thing. Then off the bench, we got Michael Porter Jr. who can score, Davis Bertan who can shoot the lights out, um, Alfred Payton, DeLon Wright, and then we can just flip uh, Roberson and try and get a center off the bench and we should be pretty good so Roberson goes to a 81 as a small forward and then we can trade him away so if we take Roberson and I'll even throw in like Poku can we get a good backup center Bull Bulls here I love me some Bull Bull I really do but he's on the last year of his deal um, otherwise, Willie Colley Stein, first round pick, and Josh Hart. I might do that just to have a pick to work with. Daniel Tice and a pick. Okay, we'll do that. So we're bringing in Tice. All right, and I think the lineup is good. So let's just make sure that the system's good. Balance is four stars. I think that's fine. Um, we need to go to the roster, and Michael Porter Jr. We're going to force non-starter on Michael Porter Jr. because Robert Covington has to start. So, where's force non-starter on? Okay. So, he is going to come off the bench for us for the entirety of this. But this is a good lineup. I like this lineup a lot. One thing I want to make sure is um, just look at the salary cap table and see what's going on. Victor Oladipo is on the last year of his deal. So, we might want to look into trading Victor Oladipo. So what could we get for Victor if I threw him and then these two first round picks? I mean like Rudy Gobert, but we obviously don't need a center like that. Uh, Pascal Siakam. We don't really need that either, but that's really interesting. 
Um, Spencer Dinwiddie, he's on last year of his deal too. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to run with how it is. So I will simulate season number two. We will see if we can win a championship this year and not even have to worry about it. I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. So season number two actually started out really slow for us. We were about 500 through like 30 games, but then we really kicked it into gear. We ended up with 59 wins. So we're 59 23. Here are the all NBA awards. Not all NBA, just the NBA awards in general, I guess. Um, Steve Kerr does win coach of the year, so that's cool. We probably had one of the better records in the league, you know, almost hitting 60 wins. Any Warriors on any All-NBA teams? No. Defensively, also no. But then as rookies, okay, we don't have any as rookies either. Okay, so we are the one seed. Um, I figured Michael Porter Jr. would be on the rookie team, but I guess I don't know how that works if you played in the playoffs last year and everything. I don't know. But anyways, this is how the team looks. Porzingis, Russell played really well. Michael Porter Jr., Where? how did Rocco do? Just not good. As a starter, 7 points, 4 rebounds, 1.2 assists. Shooting, not good from the field. Okay from 3, I guess. But we're the 1 seed. And we got the Rockets. Rocco's actual team. They got Kyrie, Colin Sexton, Aaron Gordon, Bruno, OG Ananobi. We should be able to beat this team. Um, so let's see what happens here. We're up 2 nothing. We sweep them. Let's go. Sacramento has Bruce Brown, Malik Beasley, Keldon Johnson, so a lot of young talent here. Don't even have a true point guard. Kevin Love and Cat. Cat could be interesting, but we have Jared Allen. 2-2. Two, two. Down 3-2. Okay. Is Carl Anthony Towns just giving us the work or what? This is a close game. Um, let's head into the fourth, and they're up. They are kind of running away with it. Yep. They're going to win. And we lose. So, let's simulate the rest of the playoffs. Let's get into the uh, offseason and let's try and make some moves to come back next year and just be a better team and win this entire thing. So, draft lottery. I don't know what picks we would have if we have any. We are the Warriors. I don't see any Warriors picks at all. So, uh, staff signing. We're good there. NBA draft. Just want to make sure we don't have any picks. I'm pretty sure we traded them all away. We did. So, we'll simulate... Through the draft, we will go to team player options. We'll accept team option on these two. Sumner, I don't need him back. Qualifying offers, Jared Allen will get his. And now in free agency, uh, we don't have like any money. So let's just focus on signing back Jared Allen. Well, let's look at Victor Oladipo. Okay, we could sign Victor back, so we'll throw him that big contract. And then... um. We'll just see what happens with Jared Allen, I guess. All right, Victor Oladipo, please come back to my team because I could use you to trade you. So we will match and agree. Okay. All right, so we got both of them in. Let's now just see how many people got on the roster. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, nine. We got to bring some people in. So let's bring in... Just some people on some smaller contracts. Obviously, we aren't going to have enough to afford anybody great. Um, oh, yeah. Alfred Payton can come back, though, so that would be good. Okay, so we got Alfred back. Let's try and bring in Nico Melli. Let's bring Daniel Tice back. I forgot we had him. Okay, so Nico Melli. Tice is coming back. And let's try and get, like, J.R. Smith. And also... Michael Green. Green comes in. Smith comes in. Should be good enough. Uh, let's go to player progression. Let's see how this team looks. Uh, Porzingis and Russell are both 90 plus. Michael Porter Jr. and Jared Allen both look really good. And Roko's up to an 87. So let's see if he can average more than 7 points a game as an 87 overall. But I'll send some people to training camps. We'll get into the start of the third and final season I guess and we'll see how it goes. All right so this would be the team if we ran it as, as is but I think we have to make some trades. So, I'm going to try and trade away Jared or Victor Oladipo and just see what we can get for him. So, Victor and two first-round picks. What can we get? If I have to do some shuffling around, I will. But Spencer Dinwiddie could come in and be a shooting guard. John Wall could come in and be a shooting guard. We're going to bring in John Wall, and we're actually going to make D'Lo our shooting guard. So, D'Lo is going to go to shooting guard. And now this is the starting lineup. Okay, I want to trade Jared Allen, I think, as well. 
So Allen and this first. Rudy would be a little bit better. Um, anybody else? Chris Middleton. We don't need another small forward, unfortunately, but I would love to have Chris Middleton on this team. Um, I'm going to do this for Rudy Gobert. Because now look at this defense. This is a great defensive starting lineup minus D'Angelo Russell. Then off the bench, I'm just going to try and upgrade... Um, I need a shooting guard, so we'll try and trade Nico Melli for a shooting guard. So we'll take Nico Melli and Nicholas Claxton and this first and see if we can bring in a backup shooting guard. Um, Bryn Forbes is there. Um, there's not really anybody here that I really like, but I did see uh, Michael Carter Williams. So we can do that and then we can take him and change him to a shooting guard. I mean, he has the size at 6'5". But then we're going to trade him away with that pick we just brought in and see if we can bring in a better shooting guard. And it doesn't really look like there's a better one out here, so we're probably just going to ride with him. Um, so let's go set the rotation then. Robert Covington, Covington is still going to be starting over Michael Porter Jr. But I like this team a lot. The bench is cool. 10-man rotation. Bench utilization will go down to about 30 and I think we're good. So let's set the system. Balance is four stars. Looks to be the best. So we'll do that. I'll simulate the third and final season. This team should be good enough. I'll catch you guys at the end of it. All right. Third and final season. We end up with 61 wins this year. So just like two games better than last season. I'm cool with that. Luca wins like his third straight uh, coach of the or, uh, MVP. Evan Mobley won rookie of the year. Anthony Davis defensive player. Uh, Mike Boonholzer wins Coach of the Year as they went 70 and 12. It's a good record. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to be able to compete with that. But D'Angelo Russell makes All NBA second team, which I love to see. Sometimes on these stacked teams, you don't really see that. Rudy Gobert makes defensive second team. And I don't think we had any rookies. So we are the one seed out e or west. So that's good. Um, D'Angelo Russell 25, Porzingis 21, Robert Covington. As an 85 overall, averages 5.3 rebounds and less than one assist on really bad shooting. Roko, you're you're messing things up for me, my guy. But uh, we do end up... Oh, that took seven games. Wow. Okay, LA, we got Isaiah Thomas, Jalen Brown, Brandon Ingram, Valanciunas, Nurkic. That's a good team. I'm scared about this team. They take game one and game two. We take game three. We're down 3-1. What is... Rocco is just not the answer. Okay, so we steal that game. Okay, can we get another one here, please? We start out really well in this one. And we're going to run away with this one. That's good. So we got a game seven. I will jump into this one if I need to, if it's close enough. Um, It's decently close here. They're kind of pulling away. We're down by 10. Let's see if I can jump in and save the game. I'll catch you guys in there. All right, so we're in here, and we have to get this game. Porzingis is in at small forward. What is going on? We're down by 10, though. We got to get some buckets. Chris stops. Let's go. That's a good start. That is a very good start. We're down by 7 now. We got to clamp up, though. Um, And BJ Boston is being guarded by Chris stops. And that's kind of rough, to be honest. But um, catch you guys after the timeout. All right, let's go. We're back in here. Roko's in. Rudy Gobert on Nurkic. Covington's on Valanciunas. This is so weird. These lineups are just so weird, man. Rudy. Yeah, let's go. Run. Michael Porter Jr.'s in here. John Wall, still one of the fastest players in the league. Let's go, John Wall. Let's go, my guy. Down by five, another time. Oh, these timeouts are killer, man. All right, I'll catch you guys after it. All right, we're back. And Roko's playing the two now, trying to clamp up BJ Boston, or Brandon Boston Jr., whatever you want to call him. I'm pretty sure it goes by BJ quite a bit. But, um, okay, Roko's got to stay with him. We have a really good defensive lineup, which is good. Um, Let's go, Roko. Oh, Oh, B.I. He cooked me. He definitely cooked me. Let's see if we can get a shot up with Robert Covington. 
then find one. Porzingis. Oh, he gets blocked. Dang it. We're down by five. We got a foul. All right. Got to gain my composure. We got to win this game. Reggie Jackson, who actually just got traded to the Clippers before the season like shut down, right? You know, at the trade deadline or whatever. He got bought out or something. He's probably going to make that. I got to play better defense. I got to step out on that. But we got to win this game. We're definitely not out of it. John Wall's just a beast. That's why he's my favorite player in the game. Because he's doing stuff like that in the entire league. John Wall's my favorite player. Not of all time, just right now. Clippers taking another... How many timeouts they got? All right, we got like 249 left. We're down by five. We're definitely still in this game. I'll see you guys after this timeout. They only got one left, so hopefully they quit calling them pretty soon. All right, let's put the clamps on, John Wall. Let's go, man. Okay, Rocco's out here. Dude, Reggie Jackson is not going to be cooking me. Sorry, that's not how this game's going to go. Good board, Rudy. Let's go. Let's run. Chris stops. Let's go. Down by three. I'm bringing us back into this game. We have to win. We absolutely have to win. Oh, I need help. MPJ. Oh, that was my bad. Luckily, they did not get it. Roco, can we can we take the can we tie it up? Nope. Nice dish, Roco. There's your .9 assist average right there, kicking in in crunch time. Absolutely huge. John Wall to steal. All right, we're only down by one, and there's two minutes left. Rudy, rotate, Rudy. Nice block. Nice block, John Wall. Let's go. Rocco for the lead. He's cold. He drains it anyways. Let's go. Robert Covington from deep to take the lead. Let's go. I'm pretty sure we're on like a, I don't know, like a 14 to 2 run or something. All right, they tie it back up because I was talking and being lazy on defense. Michael Porter Jr. Rudy, go to work in the post, bro. Go to work, Rudy. Cutting John Wall. Oh, Johnny. Johnny boy, what are you doing? Michael Porter Jr., Brandon Ingram. What is that shot? Give me that. John Wall pushing up the court. You can't stop this. He's had three monster dunks now. Let's go. I'm absolutely pumped for this team. Brandon Ingram. Oh, it's a back and forth game now. We keep tying it up, taking the lead. All right, we got to get a good shot. Chris stops. Let's go. John Wall got fouled. Not the best free throw shooter in the world, but um, hopefully we can drain these. Green bean on the first one. Let's get it. And not green on the second one. We're only up by one now. We got to get a stop. We have to get a stop. All right, Roko's on Brandon Ingram. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, B.I. You ain't got nothing on Roko. He might not put up the offensive stats, but he's putting up the defensive stats that we need him to. John Wall. Oh, I was trying. Green. Green bean, baby. I was not trying to take that shot. I was trying to drive to the rim, but it worked out. All right. This is like the second round of the playoffs, too. This is just not what we needed. Clippers called like four timeouts in this game. Luckily, that's that, their last one of regulation. If we get a stop, we're just going to hold for the last shot. They're probably going to foul us. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. All right. We got to get a stop. We're up by three. So if they get a two, it's not the end of the world. Oh, MPJ. Rudy Gobert. I said last shot, but I want this shot. Green, let's go. That's the game, folks. We're going to simulate with SimCast here just to make sure we're safe. But um, I think we should be good. So, we win. All right, we won by three. Now we got to finish out the playoffs, though. Um, Yeah, so let's see what we can do here up against Houston. That was only the second round. 
We beat Houston once, but they didn't have Giannis that time, so let's see what happens. We win game one, 2-1, 3-1. Okay, let's sim cast it just to be safe, just because it goes so fast um, that I don't want to like screw something up. But we win that one by eight, and we're in the finals. So we win, oh, I clicked simulate playoffs. So we won the first game against the Hawks already, but they have Corey Joseph, Norman Powell, Tobias Harris, Jason Tatum, Drummond. They're the three seed. Okay, wow, they're up 2-1. Can we steal game four? I guess it's not stealing game four, but can we win game four? It's a close game, and it looks like they're gonna run away with it here. All right, so now we're down 3-1, and it looks like we're probably gonna lose, yep. All that work in the second round of that big old comeback just to lose to Jason Tatum and the Hawks in the finals. You know what? Robert Covington starting at your small forward in 2K is just not good. Nobody's ever going to win a championship. I mean, somebody will, but like so tough. Just so tough. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It actually was a lot of fun. Getting that gameplay in was super fun because... It was a comeback. It wasn't just like trying to steal something where I'm like up by two and I just want to make sure we get it. It's like I had to work for that. And it got us to the NBA Finals, but we didn't win them, unfortunately. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. I know I had a ton making it. I hope you had a ton of fun watching it. Um, but as always, thank you guys again so much. Subscribe if you're new. Other than that, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.